Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Read. My name is Morty. I'm excited to have you guys here. Today's a beautiful Monday. It's April 15th. All kinds of amazing, beautiful energy that's in the air. I, I, I'm connected to it. I can feel it. So it's a perfect time for me to be able to uh, put together this video and hopefully be able to share and spread some of these feelings of unconditional love. <clears throat> I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, yeah, so I took a couple days and I, I, I haven't done affirmation readings and love readings uh, on Saturday and Sunday. And it's been a while since I've taken two days off like that. Uh, it'd be nice if I just took a full two days off work completely, but it wasn't like that. I had a lot of work to do this weekend, but limited time, so I kind of needed a little bit of a break. And I was so tempted to do a love read yesterday right? because I could feel the energy of like so many of you kind of wanting that. Uh, and I really do like to come through for you guys. <clears throat> but yesterday, I just needed to take a little bit of time, a little time for mind, body, and spirit to rest. Uh, a lot of processing this weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to trying to work in unison with the universe, right? Trying to learn the lessons that are meant for me to learn. And this weekend, <clears throat> what I've been trying to figure out is this, this being able to, to find this nice balance for myself where I allow myself to be open to everything, but attached to nothing. And it sounds easy, but it's, it's a lot trickier than, than it sounds, especially if you throw twin flame into the mix, right? Because yeah, I believe in twin flames. I recognize that energetic spiritual connection between two people. To be honest, I feel like I'm a part of it. Um, so yeah, like many of you, right? I'm 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 looking and working on getting together with, with my twin flame. Um, and you know because twin flame, it's uh, it's you're talking about predestiny, right? And you just don't want to make a mistake, or at least that's how I am. Uh, and so yeah, I've tried to connect with the universe on several occasions to. See if I could just get, you know, some kind of nibble of something to just kind of guarantee me, assure me that I'm going the right direction, that I'm spending my energies in the right areas. And every time that I've tried to do that, you know, I, I, the universe is in a way, in a kind of way, it smacked me in the face. Um, and I'm having to just trust my intuition. And maybe that is the lesson that's there for me. It's just, I have absolutely nothing in the 3D to cling to. Um, I just have to trust my intuition and my feelings entirely. So I've been working on doing that, on, on just turning that kind of control over, right? That uh, just going with the flow and just trusting the universe uh, showing up and continuing to manifest right trying to create everything in my that I want to manifest and that I desire to create in my world um, and just trusting that that will that will show up in a, whatever way shape or form the universe has in mind for me it's a, it's a little bit tricky um, I don't know you guys some of you may be much better at this than I am but uh, yeah so I've been thinking about that quite a bit this weekend, just kind of processing that of trying to get a sense of, of what that may look like, right? And what are and what are the risks that that um, that I'm mindful of that are there, right? You can end up in a relationship with a person that you might think is a twin flame, and you find out later maybe they're not a twin flame. Uh, you know, I get concerned that I get I'm going to get set off on a on a path that maybe isn't part of my destined path. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, it's a bit of a conundrum. And, I, you know, I've made some headway on processing, but I, I, I can't say that I have arrived at any particular place. Uh, today, I'm just here. 
I'm just showing up and I'm doing what I know to be true and what I feel to be right and true and that is sharing this read with you guys. Um, not just sharing this read but also sharing sharing these thoughts and sharing these feelings, right? Because I think that many of you can probably relate to what some of the energies that I'm talking about. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky. It's, you really can't get, uh, I try not to spend too much energy on it. I'm not going to wear myself out on it by any means. Um, but it's something that I am mindful of and something that it does matter to me. It truly does. So, but it has to matter just enough, not too much. And it's just carefully trying to find out and figure out what that balance is for myself. Anyways, so it's April 15th. It's a beautiful Monday morning. And we're coming up on noon now. It's 11.31 a.m. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to say morning much longer. The music that I have playing in the background is uh, it is the deepest healing letting go of all negative energy just some good soothing Monday sounds they're good vibes I have to I really am I'm excited to be doing this tarot love read with you guys today um, I've kind of missed the last two days so really looking forward to doing this <clears throat> Okay, before I pull that card, I want to have Indy come up here. Uh, she was up here for the affirmation reading, <clears throat> but I want to come up and just uh, just introduce her one more time because I just feel like having her close to me. So, Indy, come on. Indy, come here. Indy, come on. All right, so here's Indy, girl. She's my buddy today. I have her all day today, so I love it. I'm super happy. She got her hair cut yesterday. So she went, she had the day at the beauty salon. Uh, it was funny. My daughter, I mean, she's awesome with her. She's just, Indy's like her child. Uh, did you say hi, huh? Can you say hi? Okay, perfect, thank you for letting me share. Okay, opening affirmation, taking us into today's tarot love read. Fertility, the number 37, which reduces to a 10, which reduces to a one. One represents beginnings, fresh starts. Fertility, beginnings, right? Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. It's beautiful. So, I mean, fertility, the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is pregnancies, right? So some of you could be going through pregnancy um, or stepping into that in your life. If so, congratulations. You're entering a beautiful time in your life. Um, yeah, but fertility to me, uh, what I think this energy is representing is it's, it's the beginning of, of new energies, of, of new ideas. Um, yeah, it's about yeah, bringing new life, new, op new opportunities, uh, new ways of thinking and understanding and doing things, right? Bringing that into your life. It's a beautiful affirmation. Okay, opening energy, taking us into today's Tarot Love Read. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles represents the energy of two people working together, working together to manifest and to create. He's working at the stone fountain, she's working in the field. 
what stands out and pops to me right now is he is looking at her, but she has her back to him. Hmm, interesting. That may have some meaning out there for some of you. So flying between these two people is a bird right here, right? And it has a seed in its beak. It's getting ready to release the seed. The bird represents the universe. So it's the universe that's also working with these two people to manifest and to create whatever it is they're trying to manifest, create in their lives. So what I'm feeling this energy represents is, represents two people that are working together, right? To manifest, right? And to bring love together. Um, why doesn't it just happen overnight, just immediately and quickly? Because it's a special kind of love. Um, it's long-lasting love, right? This, this is a love that has merit to it. It has longevity and strength. So these two people are in the process of manifesting and trying to bring themselves together. Right? They're also strengthening themselves. Strengthening themselves individually so that they can bring the strength into the relationship for a stronger relationship. So at the beginning, when I was talking about every time I've tried to reach out and I've tried to connect, right, and, and to, 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 to get some kind of answer from the universe, right, on am I on the right path or not, and I said the universe just kind of slapped me in the face, I don't like being slapped. I'm just going to say that. I don't. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Uh, Page of Cups represents news. Pages are messengers, right? So this is news. It's of a loving message that's coming into somebody's atmosphere. The figure in the card, she's staring down into this water lily. It's illuminated in front of her. It has a message in it. It's a message of love. She's standing under a full moon, up to her waist in water. So there's a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling here. Right? So somebody, looks like somebody has a message, a loving message coming into them. The Justice card. It's the card of Libra. So some of you could be in a relationship with a Libra, or you may be a Libra. Um, she stands above the river of truth. In one arm, she holds her sword, right, of justice. On the other hand, she holds the scales of justice. So this is, this card by itself represents that justice is coming to somebody, right? Justice will be served. It's a beautiful energy. We always welcome justice. Too many cards. Okay, coming in at the center of today's Tarot Love Read, we have the Knight of Swords. So all, like all Knight energies, this is an energy you can count on showing up. Um, it's Swords, so it's a mental energy. So air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So a message that could be coming in from that uh, person of that zodiac sign. Um, Knight of Swords, he brings truth, right? That's my understanding of this, of this knight. So it looks like there's a truth that's coming into somebody. And this truth may be coming in by way of, uh, you may be receiving it from, another, from a water sign, or excuse me, an air sign in the zodiacs. But it doesn't have to be that way. But it's a truth that arrives to you. Okay, well, we have a tarot love read here. We have the Four of Wands. 
This is coming in next to the Knight of Swords. So Four of Wands represents it's the Happily Ever After card, right? This represents two energies coming together, coming together in union in the 3D. This is a this is a commitment card. Right? So this could be committing yourselves exclusively to each other. Right? It could be moving in together. Uh, I don't know, some of you could be getting married, right? This is pretty serious. He's her knight in shining armor and she's his queen, right? And there's that goes without question between these two. This is a high sense of unconditional love between these two energies. Yeah, I'm feeling destiny, right? It's a destined path. I'm definitely feeling destiny in this card. Okay, I think a card flipped over. It did. I always like to know if a card flips because it's meant to come out in the reading. And this card flipped. It's the full card, which is coming in next to the Four of Wands. So the full card, this is kind of an energy that I've been working on trying to obtain for myself right this past weekend. It's being able to move through life without fear, without reservation. It's letting go of all fears. It's the chance to kind of feel like a kid again. Maybe as an adult, though. The figure in the card, she stands on the edge of this cliff. Looks like she's ready to fall, but she's not going to. There's a part of her that knows that she's not going to. In fact, if anything, she's too caught up in paying attention to the beauty that surrounds her. She's staring at butterflies. So this is an energy that serves somebody very well out there. Okay, Page of Cups. Coming in underneath the Page of Cups, sorry. We have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is uh, your knight in shining armor. Uh, it represents unconditional love. Like all night energies, this is an energy you can count on showing up. He comes in on a full moon, on a white horse, a white unicorn, treading water, no less. So there's a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling a lot of love here. So it looks like he or she, it doesn't matter, we're just energies, right? But somebody's knight in shiny armor is, is uh, showing up or receiving news of this coming together. So I did come to the conclusion this weekend, right? When I talked about being slapped, I'm done being slapped. I'm not gonna take that on anymore. Just don't need to deal with those energies. So I'm just gonna trust in the universe. Okay, so coming in under the justice card, we have the Three of Swords. So three of Swords is a limiting energy. It represents the energy of uh, heartbreak, sadness, loss, grief. Right? There's three swords. So maybe on three different occasions for some of you. Uh, it's a limiting energy. I, I feel like you felt this. It was heavy. I don't know. Maybe these were some of those slaps, right? <laughs> No, it's like it's, you know, I mean, we recognize our value, recognize our worth. And when we're able to do that, right, we feel our value. It's like, hey, the hell with this shit. I don't deserve to be slapped, to be smacked. I, 
I deserve more than that, right? So you expect more than that. So whatever road you were going down that caused this slap to happen, you're not gonna go down it anymore. Coming in under the Knight of Swords, we have the Devil card, which is the card of Capricorn. So the energy in this card, this represents our ego mind, right? Which in many cases, fear. So there's fears that are at the center of this tarot reading, which is pretty substantial energy. Some of you could be in a relationship with a Capricorn, or you may be a Capricorn, or maybe seeking a relationship with a Capricorn. We have the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is coming in under the Four of Wands. Seven of Cups represents the energy of having a lot of choices. The figure in the card, she's flying through the air on this dragon, and she's being offered all of these cups. A lot of choices. You notice she's not taking and she's not receiving any of them. It's like, it's not even really paying attention to them at all. And I think it's because the cup that I think she wants is down here on the ground. It has a rainbow shooting out of it. So in order for her to obtain that cup, she needs to leave the sky, right? And come to the ground. So for many of you, this is encouraging you to get grounded. If you're feeling like your energies are scattered, right? maybe that, that there are so many choices out there. It's coming in under the Four of Wands, which is the happily ever after card. Right? So a lot of choices, possibly as it pertains to this relationship. You want to make sure, see, this is kind of where, where it gets tricky, where I was talking about it in the beginning. It's like, there's so many choices and things, but you don't want to make a mistake, right? We don't want to screw up. Um, get grounded. If you want that cup that's on the ground, right? Go to a park, take off your shoes and socks, and go for a walk. And go give a tree a big hug. Allow those scattered energies within you to become less scattered. So now you can have clarity with your thoughts and your decision making. And you can be a little more certain that you choose the right cup. Okay, coming in underneath the full card, we have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords represents the energy of uh, the figure in the card, she's been in battle. And for whatever reason, she's chosen to lie down her swords and to walk the other direction. Right? So she, she turned her back on something and she's walking towards something new and different. What's she walking towards? She's walking towards the birds, she's walking towards I mean, these clouds in the background, like they, they kind of look like they're starting to part way and there's sunlight beginning to pierce through. So she could be walking towards brighter days. Okay, energy taking us out of today's tarot love read. We have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is a limiting energy. It represents the energy of being paralyzed by fear. To the point of maybe affecting your sleep, right? Not sleeping as restfully as you maybe normally do, why? Right? Because you have fears and worries and concerns that are on your mind, right? You're being encouraged to let these fears go. They don't serve you. Eight swords perched up in the ground. Ravens on top of each sword. The ninth sword lies right here. This raven, he's looking at her, right? He's waiting for her. He's kind of beckoning her to pick up this sword and stick it in the ground. Why? Because he wants to fly on top. I mean, if necessary, use it as a crutch to help yourself up. But fear is, fear is a choice, right? Not that... Things outside of ourselves can't cause us fear, but whether or not we allow those things to cause us fear is entirely up to us, right? And that's kind of the important thing that's being pointed out here. 
So it's an energy taking us out of the reading. So I like to think this is an energy that's leaving. Okay, guys, I have this Tarot Love read done now. I need to take a few moments and I need to look at it. I need to see and feel what it is it's trying to share with me. And I need to see where the cards are placed in terms of relationship with each other. So hang on just a few moments and I'll come right back. Enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music. Okay, I mean, it's pretty quick. I think I have it here. Um, yeah, I think I was feeling it all along as we were doing it. So now it's just a matter of, of just a matter of sharing it. <clears throat> so we're stepping into, into in many ways, um, new times, new energies. Um, stepping into a time, maybe a, of new beginnings for some of you, right? Represented in this affirmation, a fertility card. We begin the reading by pointing out, recognizing there are two people out there that are trying to manifest, create. They're creating, they're manifesting together. What are they manifesting? I think they're manifesting love. I think they're trying to bring the two of you, the, the two of you together. Um, you're spiritually connected right now. Possibly, I mean, soulmates for sure. Twin flames, possibly. So we have news coming in for somebody. Right. Page of Cups, message. It's news about this Knight of Cups, your knight in shining armor, right? So there's a message of some sorts coming into somebody's atmosphere. Uh, it's letting you know about this love, this Knight of Cups, maybe acknowledging. So this news that's coming in, right? It's a truth. It's a truth that's gonna clear up whatever this Three of Swords represents to you, maybe to two people, right? Because maybe both of you felt these Three Swords. Whatever they meant at the time, um, you felt them. You felt every inch of the blade. Um, but there was a deeper lesson that was there. There was a deeper truth. There was deeper meaning to what wasn't just about what you felt on the surface, right? There were lessons that were being learned. So I think with this news and this truth that's coming in, this message, I think for some of you, right, it's gonna bring justice to you, right? For both of you, recognizing what this is truly all about. I say it's the truth that sets you free. That was so interesting that I just said that, right? It's the truth that sets you free. Because here we have the Knight of Swords, which is, he's the, the bringer of truth. That's what he brings. What does this truth set you free of? Your fears, <laughs> your ego. The truth truly does set you free. In fact, that's what I'm gonna call this read, I think, is the truth will set you free. Because this is at the center of the read, very important. Okay, so now we have the Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands. A lot of choices, a lot of scattered energy, a lot of confusion. So I think the truth that comes in, I think it sets you free by helping you recognize that yes, this is in fact the energy that you're looking to bring into your life, right? This is, this is the cup that you want. So that you can now come together in the 3D feeling one another, holding one another, <clears throat> talking. I don't know, I feel like there's some great conversations to be had between these two people too. 
This is one hell of a journey that you two have been on. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think you could talk for days and days and days, weeks, months, maybe years about this journey that the two of you have been on and the magic that's behind it all. It's beautiful. Which energies serve us best? Taking on this energy of the full, right? This is letting go of fear, letting go of worries, leaving those fears behind you. <clears throat> this is maybe no longer being willing to be slapped in the face. <laughs> energy taking us out of today's tarot love read is the nine of swords which is hopefully fear coming to an ending right this is the energy taking us out of the read so this reading is all about helping one or two people to eliminate the fear and the worry and the concern that you have in your life right of rising above it rising above this fear by taking on the energy of the fool right it's letting go I mean, truly, it, it is, that's, yeah, the fool does that. The fool has this beautiful way of being completely open to everything, but attached to nothing, right? Gosh, that's, that's it. That is the, the energy of the fool. It's an energy that serves you well. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with this Tara Love read. It was a great read today. Uh, it's pulled me right into it. I'm, in fact, I'm still into it. I hope it resonates with you guys. Uh, I really enjoyed providing it to you, um, especially after having to, taken a couple days off. Uh, this feels really good to get back in front of you and to be able to connect with all of you and to share this read with you. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. This is a general read for the collective. Um, if you're interested in a personal read, I do those. Um, for $40, I send you a 30-minute uh, private link to a 30-minute read that's just for you. If you're interested in doing that, you can just send me an email in the description below, tarotloveandabundance at gmail. Um, yeah, I want to thank all of you for all the comments, the likes, and subscribes, and shares. I mean, you guys, you're the best. Truly, you are. You inspire me. You lift me. You motivate me. You... You encourage me to tap into some of my creative energies, right? To try to, I desire to want to be better, right? I want to keep showing up for all of you and showing up in new ways and better ways that each and every one of you can connect with. Trying to spread and create as much love, unconditional love in the world as possible, right? Try to be an instrument and a beacon for that. You guys are giving me the opportunity, so... And you encourage me with, uh, with your beautiful comments and your words, your beautiful donations towards the channel that many of you have made, right? Large or small, they make such a difference. So I can't thank you enough. It means a lot. Okay, guys, have a beautiful day.